So my first game up will be uh, Utah State. This is a client play, a 4%er, a game that I really like. Look, the Aggies always bring it come tournament time. This season's not going to be any different. The fan base is going to be pretty even. Uh, both these schools have pretty solid turnouts every year at the Thomas and Mack. But the Aggies come in in uh, much better current form. Utah State, currently the fourth best shooting team in the entire country at uh, three-point percentage at 40%. And they've won five consecutive games entering the tournament. Um, it was an 11-point win for the Aggies, the only time these teams met earlier in the year. And uh, New Mexico, a team that simply can't be trusted right now. It's kind of been two seasons for New Mexico, right? They get off to that hot start and then really kind of faltered down the stretch. So not a bet on team in my book. Lobos only have three wins in their last 10 games. Those came against San Jose, Fresno, and Wyoming. Um, they've really struggled on the defensive side of the ball, particularly with defending the three. And that's going to be the key difference in this game here. That's where they're going to get dominated. Aggies also a very good free throw shooting team. So when UNM undoubtedly gets into foul trouble, uh, that's not going to do them any favors either as uh, Utah State. Very good there. Um, Utah State 5-0 and against the spread as well as straight up in their last five. Also 5-1 and against the number in their last six neutral site games. Um, I really like the Aggies tonight, Teddy. So I've got a pair of follow-ups for this one, uh, so be ready. The first is right. one of the things that's uh, that's one of the nuances of the Mountain West tournament that everyone might not know is that the Lobos travel. Every year the Lobos get a crowd at the, yes. uh, here in Las Vegas. You really think this is a quote-unquote new – I mean, I know it's a neutral site, but won't New Mexico have the crowd edge here? And the, the, the guys from Logan don't travel the same way as the guys from Albuquerque. Uh, so I don't think they'll have a significant crowd edge because Utah State travels too. Uh, you are definitely right. Uh, New Mexico, good, bad, it doesn't matter. They come out in full force. Um, but in my experience, the Aggies travel really well also. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it is essentially neutral sites. And then I just love the way this Utah State team moves the ball. Um, I've talked about it before offensively. Uh, guys moving without the ball, freeing up three-point shooting teams. The Aggies have been a been money makers for their backers all season long, something like nineteen and eleven against the spread. They're three and one straight up in neutral side contests. Which, and that that leads into my second follow, Jimmy, which is the concept yeah. right here. Utah State has won and covered the last five. They're coming in with a boatload of momentum and a big betting bandwagon. Are those the teams that come in hot? Are those bet on teams for you in conference tournament play? Bet against teams for you in conference tournament play? Or it depends every time. Because in general, from my perspective, I don't mind fading the teams that come into the tournament red hot, straight up and against the spread. It's a whole new ball game here, and they tend to be a little bit overvalued. Does that concern you here at all? Uh, yeah, so I don't want to be politically correct, but it kind of depends on the situation, right? Um, Utah State, a team that historically performs very, very well in the Mountain West, so it doesn't concern me at all that they're uh, coming in hot. Um, New Mexico, like I said, uh, yeah, you might be able to throw out that they've kind of faltered down the stretch. We're going to get their A game here, but their A game's not going to be enough. They're not good enough defensively, particularly against the three, and um, Aggies roll. 